well, they very humbled, grateful, you know, to go full circle uh, where you began your career to get back. Um, somewhat emotional. Uh, you know, a lot of people to thank. You know, I look at uh, my high school coaches, John Dorenzo, Lee Klingensmith, Dom Del Torrio, you know, guys that I started my co coaching career, Dick Cromwell, Toledo St. Francis. Um, you know, I go to college and the relationships you build, and it started here with Jim Trestle in 1991 uh, to Matt Campbell, working with him at Iowa State, to Luke Fickle, who I consider my best friend. And, uh, you know, just being able to develop those relationships I look at the communities I was able to serve here locally, uh, you know, Springfield Local, Salem City Schools, West Branch Local, the whole valley. So for me, uh, the journey has been the destination, and for me, developing those relationships that I'm excited to serve the Mahoning Valley uh, as the next head football coach at Youngstown State University. So, like I said, it's emotional because I look back in time and I wish my parents who pop popcorn for home football games and basketball games, you know, I wish they could see it, but they're probably looking down and uh, very proud, very proud. So. Again, I'm not emotional. I probably anyone could say I'm not, but so <laughs> I'm not. So you caught me at a weak moment. <laughs> so again, I, I'm honored to to be here and and serve this community. And you know, the number one thing I had a great opportunity to go meet because I believe it's players first. Uh, we got to do a great job of making sure we give our players, the resources, the best coaches, and we got to do a great job in developing those players. We got to be different than, than the teams we play, and how do we do it? Uh, they're, they're number one to be able to go in there. I told them, you know, it's, got, it's about trust and communication. That's got to be built over time. I don't want it right now. I got to go earn it with those guys, and how do I earn it? I got to build relationships with them. I got to sit down. I got to know what's on their mind. Uh, I would hope that the players that I've coached uh, in my past would say that and that's the number one thing they'd say is that I love my football players, I take care of them, and I want to see them succeed. And I got to earn that over the next six to eight months. You talk about how special this is for you, I mean, this journey to come back home. I mean, obviously, it, it's bred it in you. It's, it's yep. in your blood, this university. Yep. What's this mean to you? You're not going to get a tear. I'm, I got through that. But it is. I mean, when you look back, you always want to be a right fit. You know, to sit here and say five years ago, would I think that I'd be the head football coach at Youngstown State? You know, I didn't. I was on a journey. You know, I had to make tough decisions and get back into college football and see the turn, you know, help that first year at Iowa State with Matt and then help and go assist Luke. It's To me, it's been serving those guys. So, you know, I tried to be unselfish and, and try to serve others, you know. But when this opened, there's probably not a job in America that I'd want more. I don't know if there's a job in America that I would step away from what I had at the University of Cincinnati. So for me, this was the right place at the right time. And, and Luke would always say, you know, j just make sure you're running to it and not running away from something. And uh, I was running to it. And to be able to come home where it all started and see familiar faces, I, c I couldn't be happier. You have a lot of them here with you right now this, to see that support, to, to have the support from, from, the, from the home base of, of your family and friends. You know, how special is that for you? It is. I mean, it, you know, we started coaching when I was the head coach at Springfield Local. My brother Tom, who's the head coach at Stowe High School now, 
you know, we got to work together. He was my offensive coordinator. I, I see people here that I either coached with in the past or I built relationships, whether they, when they were in high school, you know, uh, you know, I have guys here that I coached in college, you know, so for me, it, it, it's, I, I hope if someone asks, you know, what, what's been your path? And people ask me that. I go in high school and they look at my resume and they're like, man, how, did, how were you able to do this? And I tell them, build relationships. You know, and how do you do that? I, I believe I was a good listener. I believe I worked hard and I, I believe that they had trust in me. So I think that would probably be the most important thing and to see that support is special for me to be here standing at the podium. So. Um, I'm just excited to get started and to be able to go in and talk to the players. Again, that was special to me, and but now we got to get to work, you know. And I told them, you know, the, the Youngstown way to me is, you know, we got to go out and earn it. Nothing's given to us. We got to go take it. You know, we got to own it. What do I mean by that? When we turn on the camera and we watch and film, we got to own what we put on that field. And then the last thing is you got to represent that block Y, and you have it on your chest, and we got to represent it and put a great quality product on the field and represent the Mahoning Valley. But even though you were gone, I'm sure you still kept tabs on, on what was happening you know, here with Kim Sensei. What, what do you know about the Missouri Valley Conference? Because when you first were here, there was the Missouri Valley Conference. So what do you know about the conference and so on and so forth? Very tough. You know, I go out on the road, I see them when I'm recruiting, whether it's down in Tampa, Florida, you see the North Dakota States and South Dakota States. And, you know, it's very competitive. You know, they got a different type of recruiting out that way compared to where this was maybe 20 years ago. Um, so we got to be creative. I think recruiting is first and foremost uh, going out there and finding the very best players that are going to be competitive. You know, right now, you know, I haven't had a chance to evaluate, but I'm, I'm sure those rosters are very full. You know, I see when, you know, Northern Iowa took Iowa State to overtime this past year, I, I followed that closely and, and knowing what type of players they got in the program. And for us to catch up, and I wouldn't even say catch up, I think 36-44 league record last 10 years, you know, we got to look at ourselves and say, what do we need to do different? You know, and I, I believe it's in the development of players that we got to invest as much as we can in developing our players on the field, off the field, in the weight room, in the speed, and build. You know, we're talking Youngstown, so we, we got to be physical, we got to be tough, we got to be an O line, D line driven program. And that's got to make a difference when we go play those league games. I look at the flights, I mean, you're traveling. You're traveling quite a distance on weekends, so how we take care of our players. You know, you get off a plane and you're playing a night game in North Dakota, you're getting off a plane and you're practicing on Sunday and you got to get those kids rested, you got to get them fed, and you got to get ready to wake up the next Saturday and play another football game. So, but I think that's a challenge. I think that's a challenge that you got to look forward to, and I look forward to tackling that this fall. Talked about a lot of the coaches that you've been around. What have you learned from those guys to get you ready for this moment right here to, to start leading this program? I think you, you look at how they led, you know, and each of them's different. You know, and each of them would probably say, you got to be yourself, you know, and, and each of them have different ways of leading, and it was great seeing it, you know, in the Jim Trussell way to what a Matt Campbell, how, how Matt led, and to a Luke Fickle. And, you know, even Luke, I think Luke learned through time, he's, he, he became who he is. Like, this is who I am. I, I, I'm not going to coach like Urban Meyer. I'm not going to coach like Jim Tressel. You know, that you got to find who you are. And through this process, I wanted to go in when we went into the interview process, this is who I am. This is, so if it's a good fit, you know, know who I am. You know, I want to be a CEO. I want to be a CEO of a program where I can hire the best coaches I can hire who are going to be great recruiters, who are going to be great teachers, 
who are going to take care of their kids. And what I mean by taking care of their kids, they're going to build relationships. And in building relationships, you got to talk about tough things. First thing I talked about today, the, the word portal. Portal, that's the key word. And, you know, it's so easy. Let's just jump into the portal and let's go find another place. That's an easy way. But as a coach, you got to do a better job communicating with your kids. You better know where their head is, you know, because that is an easy way. You know, so when you look at what all those guys have done to build a program, I think first and foremost, you know, Matt and Luke, is they found ways to develop football players. They found ways to recruit, and they found ways to hire coaches that build those relationships with those coaches. So, And you got to do it your way, and your way is just who you are. Uh, we got to change who I am. So it was fun talking to them. Sometimes I'm going to make them laugh. Sometimes I'm going to work them hard. But ultimately, it comes down to winning football games, and that's what we got to do. Doug, I know the first game's months away or whatever, but I mean, you're coaching in your hometown at the university that everyone kind of just, you know, resonates with. So nervous? I mean, maybe not today, but. I feel very good today, Dana. I'm undefeated. You know, I got no losses. But, yeah, I mean, to say you're not, to say there's not a pit in your stomach, you know, I'll, you know someone, I think I called Ron. Where's Ron? Is he? And I called Ron this week. I'm like, man, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to say I'm beat my chest. And this, but I think you always have that. That's human nature, that you're going to have a pit in your stomach. And, you know, do we all have self-confidence in ourselves? Yeah. You know, change is always tough. You know, I've changed a lot. You know, the only person in life that likes change is a wet baby, Dana. So, you know, somebody can maybe show, put a front on, but let's be honest, it's hard to change. It's hard to move out of a comfort. You know, Coach Fick always tells our players, you got to be comfortable doing the uncomfortable things in life you know so to say this is uncomfortable yeah but guess what got both feet on the ground and we're going to attack it and we're going to have fun doing it